Look at that, YouTube. This is Jonathan. And that was Klingon. Now this video is going to be part of a mini-series called Star Trek Technology. Pretty much what I'm going to do is in each episode I am going to describe and discuss how one of the technologies on Star Trek work. Now it goes all the way from, you know, warp drives to deflector shields to torpedoes. All that and more will be discussed in the miniseries. The first Star Trek technology that is going to be discussed is the food replicator. Now, what's so special about the food replicator? Well, all you have to do is command it to give you something and it makes you it on command. Now, how does the process work? Well, that's a very good question. <laughs> Pretty much, in the Star Trek universe, it is a smaller version and less powerful version of a transporter. But now, <clears throat> in order to program it, you put the object or whatever you want on it and beam it up and so the computer inside of the replicator stores the information that it got from the molecular scan that it took when it beamed it up and so then whenever you recall it it'll just go back into its memory banks and replicate it now let's pretend that we wanted to make one right now how would we do it well the technology is not yet available but this is how my idea of a replicator would work. Pretty much what you would do is you would put the, uh, let's say, glass of water on the replication table. Now the door closes and it instantly vaporizes the glass and the water at the same time. Now as it's vaporizing it, a lot of sensors inside the chamber are reading what's, what the composition of the glass and the water is down to the molecular level. Now with that information that it has, it would store it into chips or memory chips. And now each memory chip would have one particular thing. <clears throat> one chip would have a glass of water, one chip would have a glass of tea, one chip would have milk, one chip would have pork chops stuff like that. And now pretty much you just keep on doing that until you get all the desired products that you want on there. Yes, it might be time consuming at first, but once you have all of that information into those memory chips, then you can recall it whenever you want. And now when you recall it, let's say I want to make a glass of water. So I, I tell the computer, make me a glass of water. It recognizes your voice and it picks out what you said and it replicates what it has on memory. Now I have a picture of a replicator that I drew um, with a memory chip uh, to the side. This is the food replicator right here and um, this is the uh, memory chip and now this little compartment right here would house hundreds of these uh, memory chips and so uh, if one of them malfunctioned then you could just uh, put, put a uh, new memory chip in there and uh, go about your merry way. The memory chip isn't that big but it contains a ton of information or the information that it got when it vaporized and read the molecular content of whatever you put in the chamber. So now you know how the food replicator works on Star Trek. You guys should give me suggestions on what I should do next, what Star Trek technology I should do next. Um, if you would, please leave your suggestions in the comment section below. 
And just remember, nerd fighters unite. Keep on trekking. <laughs>